So here's the amendments. I've got the phosphorus, the manure, either chicken or koi, which is like a guinea pig, and then the calcium, some uh, magnesium sulfate, which is known as Epsom, Epsom salt. Got the little baby nursery and the big fruit trees over there. So yeah, basically I've been going around with the bucket and the spreading around the phosphorus and uh, then doing some weeding and mulching. So here's a poshte and around it throwing the amendments and uh, manure and then adding some more leaves and twigs. This is Suriname cherry and the leaves aren't doing so good so it needs some amendments. And then the white guava and uh, let's see, got the mandarin over here, grafted from the local market here. I don't know if it comes out well on the video, but yeah, it's got some new growth. And throwing the amendments around. And now we wait. And back there is a key fruit. There's a great official... Uh, National fruit of Jamaica comes from Africa originally. Fatty, delicious fruit. And then we have the mandarin and the orange for some juicy fruits. Back there, bananas. The grass gets pretty high. So here's how I mulch around the fruit tree, the orange tree. And the bananas are growing fast, and they are basically like a grass, so they get similar amendments, but you don't need to give them a big distance between the trunk, because they are basically a grass, so you can put the mulch almost pretty much right up against it. And this is a grafted avocado from the market here, and uh, yeah, it's growing. Lots of work to do. Enjoying the view. Mexican sunflower. This is just a local tree that for some reason has remained. Probably cut it down, but this is the cleared area and then I have the forested area. I'm gonna keep the big tree and some other trees maybe I'll kind of clear slowly around them. And I have some things that are planted out in the jungle where it's more shade tolerant and uh, doesn't need the full sun of a cleared area like here. And yeah, the weather is perfect as can be. There's rain, there's sun, and it's nice and warm, humid, wet. And that's the kind of tropical weather that. Uh, fruit that I enjoy the most, like jackfruit and prolinia, meringue. Also save the urine to put around fruit trees. Uh, same mulch pile, you don't want to put it too close to the trunk, just in the vicinity of where the drip line, the outside canopy of the tree. So. Go back here just to give an example. So as you can see, the canopy on this tree extends here. That means that we drip down. We put in the circle. Nothing against the trunk, just around it. Now those little pellets, those are magnesium sulfate, and as far as I understand, they're not bad. So I kind of threw them. In the vicinity it can be a bit closer and yeah hope that makes sense let me know if you got questions and what i can talk about next to my lot i'm just uh, finished for the day so I'll go have a shower at the waterfall down there and uh yeah it's, right now it's extremely slippery took the boots off just because uh, 
getting a bit warm. It's not too hot, but uh, yeah. And uh, in the future, we'll make this path better. But we're improving it slowly. It's another curve here, and uh, I'm almost there. The waterfall beyond. And um, yeah, I actually was thinking it's also good for grounding. So, I like to ground and walk in nature with the bare feet. Uh, the boots, they help with the traction and staying dry. Uh, because I don't wear socks, then uh, my feet get wet after some time, kind of sweaty, which is natural. So I'm glad I can do that and walk barefoot down there are the neighbors. And uh, to the left is our plantations, and this is kind of a public path. And the river just beyond. So yeah, uh, it's only about 10 minutes walking to get to my lot. There's a random banana, probably from a long time ago. We have the jackfruit and macadamia nut down there somewhere. <laughs> and uh, there's old community area now. Yeah, a bit rocky, but uh, this area has been dug up initially about um, eight, nine months ago. I'm not sure, actually, it might be longer than it's grown back. And there is the public path, and this way towards Food Haven uh, community area. And there's the waterfall. After some clearing, it's actually possible to see into the waterfall from the public path, which is kind of cool, but also not the best if, you know, we want to be private. But this path is only used by locals, and there's not many people living there. And yeah, this is the same stream that we get the water for the pool and the house. And yeah, I guess I'll... I'll go drop off my things and take a quick uh, shower, possibly, or oh, maybe later. See how I feel. Half moon, and the neighbor's pup has come to visit. Had a little butterfly infection, but we treated it. We helped it. Come. Come puppy. Are you gonna come? No, he doesn't want to go in the waterfall. Take it. <laughs> 